Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to our little base in the middle of the Salt Flats. In today's episode, I was originally going to go out exploring in order to find a few more missions for the other factions, and honestly, just to find something interesting to do. However, as soon as I stopped recording the last episode, I instantly got this mission. We've got Hostiles, a mission we've seen many times before, but this time against the Venture. So doing this will get us some Venture experience, and hopefully some new items as we continue. I've done a little bit of work on this craft, and now I have replaced the front weapons with regular lasers, and even added some weapons to the side, using the new wheels as well. It seems like turning is a lot easier, at least when we're stationary. Sadly, these wheels do not like turning when you're moving forward. Forward, so maybe they're better to use, maybe it's better to use a mix of the two wheel types. Either way though, that seems like a very very small enemy, so let's just crush that. There we are. And now let's crush the second as well. And of course put down our little black hole over there. So far, honestly speaking, the Venture items have been a little bit underwhelming. Certainly fun building very very fast craft, but nothing overly special. Also, apparently, I didn't actually attach my radar, because I'm a derp. There we go, now we can see what we're doing. Put you back there. And what do I get from this? Hopefully, venture items. Yes, indeed, we did. Okay, anything new. We've got that, which is a headlight. We have the venture radar. Um, is that any different to the regular radar, other than the fact it kind of looks cooler? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, I do appreciate the whole looking cooler thing, and for you, Black Hole, let's go ahead and collect the rest. So, sadly, nothing else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over towards the east, one of the areas I've discovered the least of, and we're going to see if we can find any more venture stuff, or perhaps the elusive Hawkeye faction. And then later, if we've got time, we will build a little bot to start following us around, now that we've got all the AI stuff. Apparently, this fellow is a quest. Hello there, champ. How you doing? Okay, defeat enemy waves. Apparently, this is a mission. Always nice to stumble somewhere where I'm actually meant to be. Any more, or is that it? Round two defeated. The last waves are approaching. Accidentally set off my thrusters there? Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, hello. Hello, noob123. You have a lot of guns. So do I. Maybe that says a few things about me, then. Those were very weak for a rank 3 mission. Not that I'm going to complain. Reputation is reputation, and items are items. What did we get? Anything particularly expensive? A scrapper. We got one of these. What's that? A little repair bubble, and nothing really else of interest. Well, at least we got something done already. Once again, I ran into a very small group, which were with the Venture Company, which means it really does seem like we should get out there and try to find the Venture Quests rather than just waiting for them. The rest seem a little bit welcome to simply give you missions for staying in one area, but Venture really, really wants you to go and venture around. I guess it's in the name. Now this is something interesting. I'm fairly certain this is one of the steam vents which we were looking for a long time ago to use the geothermal generator. Or I could be completely wrong. No, that does seem to be doing something. Is that indeed generating power? Yes. Okay, maybe this is a good place to set up a secondary base. Now, this is quite far away from our original base, and honestly, not the most hospitable looking area, but I will definitely have to make a note of the world position, 2616 by 363, because that is really, really cool. I feel like we should have been exploring a long time ago, because I am finding so many quests in such a short space of time, and honestly, they don't seem particularly difficult to accomplish. Lots of experience, but very, very little effort. 
And so much stuff to scrap when we get back. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, we got a wing from that. That's pretty neat. And what are you as well? So two things. You are, okay, a conveyor. And you are a rotating anchor. Okay, nothing we haven't seen before then. But still, stuff to scrap is stuff to scrap. That is the first enemy I've seen in quite some time now. It seems like I've been going through this barren little desert for far, far too long. And that may have been one of the smallest enemies we have ever encountered. Well, thank you for your experience, and hello. Finally something which isn't just basic desert, I'm very, very happy with that. We are now at 5,940-ish, 697. We have gone very, very far away from our base. Also, far too heavy to climb hills very well. Very glad I decided to use these fuel tanks. Invasion in two, one, zero. Hello there, sir. Oh my lord, you have shields. Well, so do we, and we're being charged up as we fight. We also have the ability to repair. Oh my lord, we may actually lose this. Nope, your battery's gone as well, okay. Damn, I thought I was a gun bed. That is a gun bed. Maybe we shouldn't have run away from our power station there. Okay, looks like we're winning this. And down it goes, wonderful. Lots and lots of very, very expensive stuff. Now sadly, did lose a bit of our stuff as well. So let's put down the black hole. Let's absorb all of that into our inventory and let's get our power back so that I can start repairing my stuff. Maybe I need more batteries. I honestly think battery spam may be the best way to go in this game. And we are ready to go once again, now with way more batteries. I just went ahead and bought a load more, so now I believe we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 of the Geo batteries, which of course are the largest ones we currently have access to. Now one thing I really need to find as soon as possible is the Geo Corpse version of the Shield Bubble. The actual shield, of course, not the repair bubble, which we found last time, because that would make building these type of vehicles much, much easier. We're also now very, very close to the next level of the Venture Corp, so I will be looking out as much as possible for any enemy, no matter how small, which may belong to that faction. For instance, this one over here. Hello there. The Venture Wire Attack. We have so many more guns than you. There we are, a little bit more experience for us, and because we don't have too many adventure items just yet, I'll just grab all of those and then get back to my adventuring. Although I have to do one thing first. Whee! It's rare to feel fast in this type of vehicle. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Well, aren't you made of expensive things? I like expensive things. You have a lot of mortars. Thankfully, of course, so do we, but even so. I think I need to stop backing off so much during combat. I'm just used to those tiny little robots which want to get right up in our faces, and because of that, I'm a bit scared to go too close to enemies. No, oh, I was hoping to repair that before it exploded, but sadly not. That was one of the Cerberus items. Lots of explosions, but still a lot of cool stuff. And of course, by Cerberus, I mean the drill head which goes on the front of your craft. Uh, this one here, in fact. The Cerberus Headlight Bore. That is a lot of lasers you have there, sir. The One Trip Harvest. Oh lord, all of those are collectors. Can we take out that cab without doing any more damage? Oh, everything he's got is so expensive and I want it so much. Oh, that is beautiful. So much glorious scrap. For people like me who just love looting things, this game is so perfect. Also, may need to restart said game. It's a bit flickery at the moment for some reason. Eh, 
Nothing too fancy out of the spoils, but still, all of this stuff to sell. What we need to do is set up a proper scrapping base fairly soon for the Geocorp stuff, because I'm fairly certain not all of the items that you scrap from completed items, rather than just resources, are raw resource. I believe some of them are already refined, so you have to have the, oh, what's it called? The conveyor belts, the ones which sort stuff. You need some of those. The filters, so I do need to start setting that stuff up back at base very, very soon, and that will get us a lot more money. In fact, right now, with how many items we have, we are probably sitting on maybe a hundred thousand monies. Block bucks. They're called block bucks. Ooh. That's not a vehicle, is it? No, that can't be a vehicle. It's too big. I think it is. I think that actually may be a vehicle. My word, that's huge! Okay, you, grab that, me, go and explore that titan. That is an absolute monstrosity. Not a particularly good one by the looks of things, but still an absolute monstrosity. Fire at it now, while it's weak and floaty! Okay, now we can back off, because it seems like our lasers are longer range than their weapons. Just keep on coring it out, everything's fine. Apparently had something expl- and there it goes! And that thing really, really likes its guns. That's a lot of lag. I better get ow! I better get some serious reputation from beating these things. If I do indeed beat them, that thing is immense. Thank you, shield spam. Screw it! I'm just gonna stand here and take it because we are. Oh no, we're not going to win this. I'm going to back off from that. Um, why am I even attacking its front? It seems to be stuck. Let's try and be a bit smarter, shall we? Has too many weapons everywhere else. Oh, look at all the mortars on this thing! Mortars and pound cannons everywhere! Lil Chompy! I wouldn't say little, honestly. Wouldn't say little. There we go, perfect positioning. And now it's moving again. Goodbye. Did I mention we have a lot of items? Because we're going to get so many more. We're also a little bit low on power, so while it's stuck, we may as well put down this, even though we already have one somewhere else, and put down our little solar generators, and give ourselves a little boost. Where did the rest of those go? I did have more of those. Not quite sure what's gone there. Don't go towards the black hole, and we'll be fine. It still has guns at the back, but far, far less of them. And by the looks of things, they are the pound cannons, which I believe are almost the same range as our lasers. No, the lasers are longer range. Okay, I didn't know that, and now I know that, I know how to fight this thing. Like this. There we go. It can't hurt me. I can hurt it. That thing has so much health. Oh, a couple of them are hitting me. It seems like their range is actually very, very close to being the same. But what I could do is wait for it to stop firing, move in, fire, move back. There we are. I love the fact it's stuck so much. Just die already! As soon as our batteries die, I'll move back, but right now you may as well- There we go! That thing took a beating. Now, let's get charged up, get the black holes down, collect everything we can, and then move on. Ooh. That is a fairly pretty spotlight and a scrapper, and a fabricator. Once again, stuff we've already got. But still, money is money, and we are soon to be very, very rich.
Okay, this is it. We're going to attack that group over there, and if we do indeed win, we're going to head on back, back to our original base over in the Salt Flats, and we're going to expand it quite drastically so that we can start scrapping all of these items a lot faster, because right now, we have a ludicrous amount of pretty much everything. We have 57 regular blocks, we have 50 of the big boy wheels, we have 38 of the rugged wheel, 63 of the crusher wheel, and so on and so forth. We even have 5 of the headlight boars. That should be an absolute immense amount of block bucks, and I'd like to see ju just how many block bucks we could get by scrapping everything, or at least everything we don't immediately need. So I'm going to charge up here very, very slowly, and then we're going to get started. In fact, I may go ahead and purchase some extra solar panels, because we have so many batteries now, this is taking way, way too long. There we are, the payload terminal. Let's accidentally drop one. And let's go to power blocks, and I would like some more of the solar turbines. Uh, turbines, generators, essentially solar panels. I want some more solar panels. There we go. Also need some more of these again. Just to make sure we're transferring at 100% speed. Hello there again. So both of you are the ones with all the mortars on the back. You are the really annoying one that took a long time to kill last time. Now these aren't so bad. These are just going to break apart. That one is completely covered in that shock plate armor. Except for the front, actually. So maybe attacking the front, where all the guns are, although it will do more damage to us, might be able to kill it so much faster, it will be worth it. Perhaps. But we will soon find out. I also keep on forgetting we get cash for simply killing these enemies, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh-oh, the other guy's joining in the fight. Not really what I wanted to st ow, to see there. Can you please just get stuck so I can fight one-on-one? -on -one? Okay, that's good. You just stay there. And you apparently aren't following me. Why not? In that case, let's see if we can finish off this guy first. Ow. More ow. All the ow. So many guns. Let's see if, let's see if we can knock some of those off then. Um, he's not fighting back anymore. Okay, well that makes things easier. I'm glad you've just randomly given up. No, you haven't given up, but this is the perfect spot to attack you at. Kind of in the corner. Mortars! How's our battery life? Very, very good right now. Smashing! Okay, there we go. Let's put this down. Of course, our black hole storage mabob. And let's see what we get from our prize. Anything interesting? Seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it, and seen it. Okay. In that case, I'll be right back. I'm going to head on back to our main base, unless I see something more of interest. Beautiful. A bit of a side note, as we slowly trudge our way back home, I've been looking online whilst simply driving around, and it turns out to get the Hawkeye faction, you need to get to level 4 with the original company, so that is definitely something I'm going to aim to try and do as much as possible. Although to be honest, right now it does seem like trying to focus on one company is actually incredibly difficult. Either way though, thankfully most enemies do belong to that company, so just killing things we see will certainly slowly take us there. And then, we can get some really cool stuff. Apparently there's homing missiles. Venture License Upgrade to Grade 2, which means we can now purchase a new type of wheel, the Fabricator, and a few other things as well. Very interesting indeed. Also, totally didn't mean to do that. So what is that wheel? 
the globe trotter wheel. Is that better than the standard one? I can only assume it is, and definitely something to test out as we go. So hurrah, one of our goals for today at least has been finished. Venture level two. We are most likely going to get to level 4 with Geocorp before we do with the main faction, because once again, another group of these have just appeared. And there it goes. Nice and easy, almost no battery power was used at all, and we get even more very, very expensive items. I could build a really big craft at this stage, and I'm somewhat tempted to do so. Let me go and get my black hole. It's over there. Well, that's something I didn't realise we had. Apparently, with the upgrade in our Venture experience, we now have the Venture Repair Bubble. Which, apparently looks about the same as the standard. Perhaps even a little bit smaller. But I'm guessing it's also lighter, so maybe it'll be good if we do indeed build some more fast craft. If we ever do. We've also got this. Okay, a few things I didn't realise. The Uzi SMG. Oh, that is really fast choosing. Okay, fairly cool if nothing else. We are in a really good place right now in terms of enemies just constantly spawning. Which is pretty good to be perfectly honest, so you can go away. Which was far easier than expected, and... I can go ahead and fight those over there, which will most likely, in fact definitely, will get me to level 4 with the Geocorp. Oh, that is horrible. They're all the strong version. Also, that's a thing. I don't even know what that's meant to be. Oh, so many shots. This may be a little bit out of our league. Look at how many shots they can fire together. And they are pretty much stuck together, which is really annoying. Actually, that means if we go, like, here, maybe the shots won't be able to hit us? I am watching my battery power so closely right now. That's going down way too quick. No, we can't just move in close to those. Let's keep moving backwards. Everything's fine. I was accidentally turning on the, the thrusters, the entire backpedaling then. Because, you know, may as well waste fuel slowing us down. Come on guys, just die, if you guys die I'll get to level 4! Don't you care at all about that? Cause you should. That is very annoying. And we're at about 50% battery power. If I can just really damage one of them I can go and get my battery power back and then come back to finish them off later. Just need to get into a good position. That's better. We are taking a few hits, but not too many. Just keep on drilling into that one at the back. Oh, there's the battery I was looking for. I know I knew one of the batteries was facing the correct way. Okay, the one closest to us is about to explode. There we are, Geocorp license maxed. Congratulations, you have reached the current maximum license for Geocorp. There are still lots of new blocks to discover, but you won't get any more experience or grades until we add more missions. Okay. That's what we're currently doing. Well, we may as well finish it off, since that's worth so much. The enemies are still worth a fortune, even if we are no longer getting experience from them. A lot of its front's damage. Let's move forwards a bit and damage this section as well. I do wish we could manually aim the guns a little bit more. Okay, there's the inside. A few more hits and this one will go down. Come on, you're almost dead. Just die. Thank you. Have we lost anything yet? Not yet. The combination of repair bubble and shields, though expensive in terms of power, are very, very powerful. Last enemy. Oh, so much stuff's gonna get destroyed here. I'm trying to position myself to damage as much stuff on the front as possible. It also backs up by itself, so it's never going to hit me with those rams. Well, drills. 
I mean, I'll, I'm okay with that personally. And it's down. Enemy gang smashed. So it did say there's some more items to collect. I'm not too sure about that with this faction. In fact, no, there definitely is. There's the bubble. No, not the repair bubble. Although, thank you, that's worth, a, again, a lot of uh, scrap. But I am still to unlock the Geocorp shield bubble. The proper shield. Either way, though, I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to collect all of the scrap, and in the next episode, we're going to go on a money-making mission. We're going to set up the base so that we can scrap all of this stuff a lot easier with a lot more automation, and then we may make ourselves a little drone to follow us around, which I keep on saying I'm going to do, but I promise... I'll try to next episode. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you would like to see continued in the future. And like I say, the goals for the next episode are money making, getting to rank 4 with the main faction, and maybe making a drone if we have some spare time. Thank you, and goodbye.